Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Health on this magnificent Monday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life's good. Uh, I told you on the earlier meditation video that I was going out for a bike ride. Well, by the time I got out, it was pouring rain. So I did my kettlebell workout instead and just got through with it. But while I do my kettlebell workout inside, uh, I put on YouTube videos while, to, while I'm working out. And I like Jordan Peterson. Let me preface this by saying that. I like Jordan Peterson very much. I think he's a brilliant man, and I think he does a world of good. But he had this close to three hour, and I'll put the link down below. And guys, don't waste your time. Honest to God, don't waste your time. A three hour interview with this guy named Bjorn Lomborg, this Danish author who runs a think tank. I believe it's in Copenhagen. I'm not sure. Okay? Um, and he came out with a book, 12 Ways to Truly Change the World. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. But these two dolts, these two elitist ignoramus dolts, this guy has got to get his head out of the think tank for five minutes and deal with what's going on. I mean, first of all, it took 40 minutes of this interview of these two pompous twits trying to out use bigger words from each other. It was like, who has the bigger dick? But I, I mean, it, it was disgusting. I don't like to use those words, guys, but this, this was revolting what I was watching. I almost threw my kettlebell out the window. These two elitist jackasses. <laughs> 12 ways they can truly change the world. 40 minutes it took to get to number one. Now, I'm a little skeptical of Jordan Peterson because you know as well as I do, and they didn't come up with this, that the number one cause of climate change, global warming, whatever the hell you want to call it, is meat, dairy, fish. And um, Jordan Peterson is a vowed carnivore. All he eats is meat. So you're going you're gonna to contribute to the number one cause of the problem, the number one cause of the problem, and tell me, and you're, you're, you're going to be the one to fix it? Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Jordan, I love what you're doing, but this is hypocritical asshole. This, this, this is just BS. And Bjorn Lomborg, he's not a vegan either. He's not a vegan either. And... I didn't get to the end of this because I, I was just making myself sick, but I went to it and, you know, he talks about, you know, not eating meat and eating veggie burgers is not what it's thinking, it's and impossible whoppers is not what it, no, that's not what you should be talking about, you jackass, you low-grade jackass. The, first of all, much of it, his 12 ways was climate change and poverty. Okay, 4.1 billion people on the planet live on like $12 a day or less. Okay, they have poverty in different countries that I can't even begin to fathom. I get it. But guys, you don't have to give them impossible whoppers. The cheapest and healthiest thing that you can possibly do for the entire planet, and that's another thing, guys. That's another thing, guys. These are pie in the skies. You know who was in a think tank? Bjorn and 12 economists. Oh, that, that's going to change the world. 12 economists. So they're trying for every $1, they're trying to get the biggest bang for the buck back. All right? Okay. In theory, that makes sense. But the fact of the matter is, the cheapest and most efficient and one of the healthiest, not completely, but one of the healthiest diets, I've done videos on this, is unlimited rice, unlimited potatoes, and unlimited bananas. That's a fact. If the whole world did that tomorrow, and I got through, I eschewed my, my fruit and veggie lifestyle, my raw lifestyle, and went rice, potatoes, and bananas. 
half of these problems that Bjorn spent millions of dollars trying to figure out would be gone. First of all, nobody would be sick anymore. Nobody would be sick anymore. 90% of the diseases on this planet are diseases of filth. And even if you just take the remnants of rice, potatoes, just take the bananas and throw them out the window in some third world country, that helps the ecosystem. The vitamins and minerals and nutrients from decomposing banana peels is going to help the environment. You throw the bananas out the window and you plant a garden where they land. That's a fact. Okay, there's not enough water. Okay, I, I, I'm being very elementary here. I get it. But those two clocks spent so much time trying to overthink the problem. First of all, if the entire planet went rice, potatoes, and bananas tomorrow. Back to my original thing. Okay, these are all these grand ideas, these 12 big grand ideas that he says could be put into play for $35 billion a year, which he said Elon Musk or Bill Gates could, well, Bill Gates isn't going to do it because it involves proper prenatal care, and Bill Gates doesn't want more people on the planet. So he's not going to, you know. But anyway, the point is, people, what can we do? What can we do? And this is what you can do. Now, the diet I am proposing is vegan, but I am not proposing a vegan diet. Impossible Whoppers are almost as bad for the environment and your health than regular burgers. Corn, potatoes, and bananas. First of all, in many of these third world countries that live on 12 now a day, you could grow your own rice. The climate is, is fertile enough to grow your own like they do in China and kick our ass. Guys, all these world Chinese people do, and read the China study by T. Colin Campbell, all they do is eat rice and white rice, and they are healthy as can be. There's no obesity, there's no cancer, there's no heart disease, there's no type 2 diabetes. No, he didn't say that. Him and his economists don't know what the hell they're talking about. And if all we ate was rice, potatoes, and bananas, Global warming, climate change, whatever you want to call it, will be stopped in its tracks. It's not the whole thing. Emissions from cars and transportation and, and polluting the water and all that nine yards is part of it. But let the fish go back in the sea, let go the fish go back into the, the water. Right there you are eliminating pollution because you're not eating the fish. The fish eat the plankton and everything else that's there that why do you think the ocean is so much warmer than it normally is? Because there's no fish in it. Guys, th this is just the dumbest, godforsaken thing I ever heard. And I'm going to leave it down there so you can, but I, I suggest you don't waste your time. Now, I like Jordan Peterson. I think he does some good. Bjorn, I don't know anything about him. I'm sure he's a fine man. But this is so misguided crap. You and I, can change the world today. Meditation, fruits, vegetables. Start there. If you don't want to do that, get yourself a 10 pound bag of rice, which will last you a month. Pounds, of, a five pound bag of potatoes for $5.99 that will last you a week. And bananas at 59 cents a pound that you less, less than $5 a day. That's if you're buying it at Stop and Shop. If you're going wholesale and sending tons of it off to these places, it's less than that. And they're fed, they're healthy, their health will soar, your health care costs will come down almost to nothing. Then you start your prenatal care Bjorn. Then you start your carbon emissions. Then you get electric cars. He's talking about, you know, wind-powered turbines and all that sort of now that's fine down the road that's fine i have solar panels guys i am eating this way and i have solar panels i'm and i'm meditating i'm doing my part you guys can do that and let bjorn 
and Jordan Peterson trip over themselves trying to prove who's smarter and get absolutely freaking nothing done. There you go. Love you all.